Gold Darcy Tucker out to Eric Daze, and the big guy with soft hands puts one past Pucci. Two to nothing, West Quebec. The OHL team a bit of frustrated as Ed Jovanovski puts a bit of a hold on Eric Fischel. But Fischel stands his ground then and stands his ground now as he stops David Ling, who was breaking in all his own. In the second, watch his effort by Terry Ryan. Going blue line over center. In the offensive zone. Short. Beautiful goal. Five nothing for the Western Quebec All-Star team. The Ontario team tries to come back. A pretty goal here by Eric Manlo and Vitaly Yetmanev who worked to give and go. That makes it 6-2. Western Quebec League. The goalies take over in the third. Todd Bertuzzi thinks he's got one, but he's robbed point blank by Martin Biron. Kevin Weeks playing just as well for the OHL. He makes a great glove save on Charles Paquette, but the Western Quebec team get a couple of goals assaulted away. Eric Daze gets his second of the game from Tucker. That makes it 8-3. to three. Western Quebec and Marty Murray carry scoring this one in front of just under 6,000 fans. After the game, Gordon Miller had this chat with this guest. Kennewick, Richland, and Pasco. One of those three places are the Tri-Cities, and that's where uh, Terry Ryan plays these days, but Mount Pearl, Newfoundland, of course, is his real home. Two goals and a helper tonight in the CHL All-Star game. Uh, you were surprised to make the team, so uh, this really is a dream come true. This is the biggest thrill of my life. You know, uh, to be playing with the, uh, you know, the caliber of players here is just unbelievable. It's a dream come true, and then, you know, I was hoping, you know, God help me, please please let me score a goal, and I got two and an assist. Uh, me and Damon, uh, Damon and I just worked, we worked well together, and you know, tonight just topped everything off. This is the highlight of my career so far, and hopefully everything keeps up going the way it is. Draft eligible this year. There was a ton of scouts. Uh, they must be impressed by what you've done here tonight, and you have to think that uh, your draft prospects are improving by the minute. Oh, hopefully they're impressed. I mean, uh, if there was a game this year that I wanted to play good, it was definitely the game. You know, uh, I was uh, really nervous coming in, and I figured, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of great players here, but, you know, i got to prove myself to the scouts if I want to if I want to be drafted high. So uh, I hope I... Uh, I hope I proved it to most of them anyway that I can uh, I can play. Most of us are used to all-star games that might not have the level of intensity that uh, you'd see in the regular uh, season. This was probably more intense than a lot of regular season games. Well, this is definitely, this is the uh, hardest hitting game I've played this whole year. You know, usually on, a, on any given night, you know, uh, you give out three or four good hits, it's, uh, you know, it's good. And tonight I took about, say, five or six and gave out a couple. And it was just really rough, head up the whole game. But, I mean, that's, that's what Canadian hockey is all about. And hopefully the fans are pleased with uh, the way everything turned out. Looking forward to getting back to the, uh, the regular schedule now in the Western Hockey League? Yeah, actually, tomorrow night we, we fly back to Prince George and we have a doubleheader there and then we have two games on the weekend, so we don't get much of an all-star break. But uh, I'm looking forward of it, uh, to it. Uh, hopefully this will uh, bring my confidence up for the rest of the season. Well, thanks for talking to us, and we know they're proud of you in Mount Pearl, Newfoundland. Thanks very much. Terry Ryan with a couple of goals and assists tonight as the Quebec and Western All-Stars defeat the Ontario League in the CHL Chrysler Cup All-Star Game. Let's go back to Sports Desk. Thanks very much, gentlemen.